This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. Faith Trust, February 12th, No Magic. John 8, 32 says, And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Visiting Machu Picchu in Peru is a a shocking experience. The climb between winding roads and green leafiness is the foretaste of the latter experience. Construction speak not only of people of great skill and knowledge, but with strong religious interest. To this day, people with spiritual inclinations meditate alongside sacrificial altars or bitter rooms. Throughout the place, there's an air of exceptionality that many, especially followers of New Age demonstrations, interpret as a special magnetism. Everything seems magical. Descending to Aguascalientes is returning to normal. Hotels, restaurants, tourists, and souvenirs crowd the place. At the end of the main street, there's a figure of a Christ with a dark and medieval air who has offered the same symbols as the Pachamama. It's the mixture of Christianity and pre-Columbian beliefs that permeate the religion of this area. Locals look at the image with childlike devotion, and once again, everything seems magical. The simplest spiritual experience is magic. It doesn't need normality. It lives in exception. The wonderful takes the place of the common. The miracle solves the problems. In the magical religion, certain words or acts please God, and he, in an act of generosity, agrees to fulfill the request. A coca leaf or a little alcohol please the Christ of the street, and he's a des- deigned to alleviate the harshness of day-to-day life. Reasoning isn't understood. The intense desire for the extraordinary to occur is accepted with submission. Magic is capricious and enslaves people by, by preventing their spiritual development. Jesus opposes mag- magic. Instead, he creates relationships where there's dialogue and understanding. To follow him is to begin to understand the world, for he is the truth. His relationship proposal, remember that this is the meaning of religion, is based on the normal day to day. The normal thing is talking with a loving God, with a God who performs the miracle of the common, love at home, commitment at work, mission on the street, freedom and thought. Sometimes without realizing, we go back to magic and expect the religion of exceptions. If so, remember that God opened the Red Sea one day, but sent the manna for so many years that it became the menu. Jesus resurrected Lazarus, but he gave light every day to those who lived in darkness. He therefore leaves the exceptional for its occasional and enjoys the freedom to live with God every moment. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this, walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority, make him yours, and you will always live out your purpose. God bless.